Welcome to Travel Scout Channel. For today's video, we will take you to Pico Benito National Park in Honduras. We will be going to explore this amazing national park and discover the must-see places and things to do. But before we start, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future updates here on the Travel Scout Channel. Pico Bonito is a vast rainforest reserve covering a mountain range with elevations ranging from sea level up to 2,435 meters. In this park, you'll find rivers and waterfalls amid lush tropical vegetation and is an excellent spot for hiking, bird watching, rafting, and enjoying the abundant wildlife. Pico Bonito is the second largest protected area in Honduras and is a haven for animal life, seen rarely elsewhere. The largely unexplored jungle has a rich biodiversity with seven different ecosystems, from a humid tropical broadleaf forest in the lower regions to a rare cloud forest on the peaks. Planning to visit Pico Bonito National Park? Well, there's so much to do in and around here and you will surely make your visit as active or relaxed as you wish. Certainly, a not-to-be-missed spot in Honduras for outdoor adventure and nature lovers. Whitewater rafting and kayaking on River Cangreal. The Cangreal River took the eighth spot out of the 30 wonders of Honduras back in 2011. The reason for this? Rio Cangreal is Central America's steepest river and is perfect for technical whitewater rafting and kayaking. The river shows off its energetic grades, two, three, and four rapids down the steep slope between the two national parks. The large slab gives you the whitewater effect you need for your adrenaline fix. The best experience is the so-called washing machine as you will come out with no clothes out of the raft there, so it's best to hold on tight. But don't worry, because the guides are experienced and are very professional, so you are definitely in safe hands. Swimming and boulder jumping in River Congre Hall. The Congre Hall River Valley is littered with massive boulders, making this a fantastic way to spend the afternoon. Though it needs to exercise extreme caution, no jumping alone, and check the depth of the river first. It is also important to take heed of local knowledge. Guides will show you the safe spot to jump, and definitely it is different from where rafting takes place. If you want a more relaxed or just be a sightseer, just find a rock to chill and watch the crazies splash around in the clear Congre Hall River. I am sure it won't be too long before you yield to this refreshing activity. Hiking El Mapachi Trail to El Bahuco Falls. Pico Bonito National Park also offers many hiking options, and one of the most popular areas is along the Congre Hall River Valley. From the visitor center entrance, you will see the magnificent Indiana Jones-style suspension bridge. This leads over the Congre Hall River, to a series of trails. The most popular trail is the El Mapeche Trail, which leads up through the rainforest to the foot of the impressive 80-meter-high El Bahuco Waterfall. The round-trip hike takes about three to four hours depending on your strength levels and how many breaks you take. You can stop, look around, and take photos of the many species of flora and fauna. There were many birds, including toucans, lots of insects, and several reptiles. Enjoy forest bathing. Shinrin yoku is a Japanese practice meaning forest bath or bathing oneself in nature to receive therapeutic benefits. Taking a bath in the forest gives you a mindful experience and no better place to immerse yourself than Pico Bonito National Park. Forest bathing is not about hiking through the jungle with a planned route. Instead, being more reflective about what you are seeing, paying attention to what's moving, feeling the breeze, and seeing the rainfall onto the leaves. 
Expect a perfect dose of ecotherapy from the air of tropical forests. Loaded with powerful phytoncides. Visit Honduras Chocolate Factory. See firsthand the lengthy production process of the local chocolate factory, named Oro Maya. Not a huge cocoa plantation, but it works well with farmers that bring their crops to be made into delicious bars or cocoa butter. Stay at Hotel Rio and River House. Hotel Rio and River House is the only hotel in Central America built from tropical hardwood trees growing on its own farm. It offers two different areas to indulge your time in nature. Hotel Rio is set about 400 meters back from the river on a verdant tropical hillside. It's home to a restaurant that serves delicious meals, bars, and hiking trails. It has also excellent views of the national park from its restaurant's terrace. The hotel has a selection of very comfortable rooms to suit solo travelers, couples, groups, and families. River House is set just 60 meters back from the river. It has a big terrace wherein you can enjoy the scenery of lovely gardens filled with tropical trees and plants. Visit Finca Corinto. Stationed about 20 minutes from Hotel Rio, towards La Ceiba, at the base of Pico Benito, is Finca Corinto. The finca is 117 hectares agroforestry farm. You can have a tour of this farm, especially if you have a genuine interest in agroforestry and conservation. The farm is on recovered cattle pastures, reviving pepper plants, and tropical and hardwood trees. All seeds that are produced go to forestry conservation. Plenty of African palms are also planted to stop erosion. Horse riding and mountain biking. Some other activities you can do in Pico Bonito are horse riding and mountain biking, canopy and zip lining. These can all be organized through Hotel Rio. You could also spend an afternoon looking and roaming around nearby La Ceiba. Also, have a stroll along the pier and seafront, around Swinford Park, and eat a balieda, the national dish of Honduras. So what do you think of our video? Please comment down below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future updates here on Travel Scout Channel. Thank you for watching.